Now you're going to learn the basic Dianetics procedure. Yeah. You and a friend can team up and take turns auditing each other. This is called co-auditing. The person receiving the auditing yeah. is called a pre-clear because he hasn't yet been cleared of the engrams in his reactive yeah. mind. Okay, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Great, and have you rested? Properly? The person who guides the pre-clear yeah. through the procedure is the auditor. Good, good, and have you eaten properly? You should strive to be the best auditor you can be. You'll expect nothing less from the person who will be auditing you. There's a definite code of conduct that every auditor must follow, not just to be polite, but because it's necessary for auditing to work. It's called the auditor's code, and it outlines the attitude you should have toward your pre-clear. For auditing to work, an auditor must be trustworthy. So keep your auditing appointments and be there on time. Have a seat. Thanks. Yeah. And by the way, a trustworthy auditor never reveals any confidential matter concerning the pre-clear. An auditor is at all times kind, considerate, patient, and persistent. No, I'm telling you, it can't be true. It's just my imagination. Well, what do you see? Never criticize or get angry with the person you're auditing. Keep your opinions to yourself. You know, I think I'm tired of running this in, Graham. I think I'd like to run the time when I got burned. I understand. There may be more in this one. Go back to the beginning. Follow the auditor's code. You'll find it in your Dianetics book in the chapter entitled The Auditor's Role. Study it well, because the moment you violate the code, your auditing session will run into trouble. As an auditor, your job is to listen and to compute any trouble your preclear is having and to help him get those engrams. Anymore, it really hurts to think about it. I understand, but the only way out of it is through it. Please continue. Now let's look at the 10 basic steps of a Dianetics auditing session in detail so you can see exactly how it's done. These are covered in the book Dianetics in chapter five of the therapy section. The steps are also laid out on a card listing out what to say and do at each step. The auditor can refer to this during the auditing session. It might help to follow along with the card as we go through this demonstration. In step one of the procedure, the auditor assures the pre-clear that he will know everything that happens. You will remain aware of everything which goes on. You will be able to remember everything that happens here. You can pull yourself out of anything which you get into if you don't like it. Okay. Good. The second step is to have the pre-clear close his or her eyes. Close your eyes. Good. This puts the pre-clear into a state of light concentration called reverie. The pre-clear is simply putting his attention on himself and the auditor. In the third step, the auditor makes sure that anything she says during the session won't accidentally re-stimulate the pre-clear or act as a command over him at a later time. So the auditor makes an agreement with the pre-clear to cancel this from occurring. In the future, when I utter the word canceled, everything which I have said to you while you're in a therapy session will be canceled and will have no force with you. Any suggestion I have made to you will be without force when I say the word canceled. Do you understand? Yes. Good. In the fourth step, the auditor returns the pre-clear to a period in the past. Tell the pre-clear to go to the earliest moment of pain or discomfort. Let's go to the earliest moment of pain or discomfort. Uh, okay, I think I got one. Good. Now we come to the fifth step, working with the file clerk to get data. The auditor has the pre-clear re-experience the incident from beginning to end describing it as he goes along. Tell the pre-clear to begin at the beginning and recount it. Begin at the beginning and recount it. Recount simply means to describe what you're re-experiencing. I'm about seven years old and I'm sick. I'm really sick. I'm out of it. Um, in my room, in bed, I'm coughing. Notice that the pre-clear is describing everything as though it's happening right now in the present. This tells you he's returned to it and not merely remembering it. And my mom comes in and she feels my head. When you want the pre-clear to keep on going, say, continue. Please continue. Um, mom is trying to feed me something, I don't know what. All right, 
ask the pre-clear questions to get data. Questions like, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? Or what does she say? will keep his attention on the scene and rolling through it. What do you see? Uh, she's holding a bowl and a spoon. That's all there is, that's all I'm getting. All right. In step six, you reduce all engrams contacted so that no charge remains. Charge is the harmful energy stored in the engram. The auditor sees to it that all the painful or emotional energy in the engram is discharged. This is done by returning the preclear back over the incident many times until it no longer affects him painfully or emotionally, or until it seems to disappear. Have the preclear go back to the beginning of the incident and go over it again, picking up whatever additional data he can contact. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Okay, I'm sick in bed, um, hot and really out of it. <coughs> and uh, my mom comes in. The auditor is listening for new information coming out of the incident. You look terrible. She says you look terrible. As long as new data is coming out, the incident is reducing and should continue um, to be run. She's trying to feed me something. It's soup. But the smell, it makes me, ugh, it makes me even sicker. I don't want it. I don't know, I'm, I'm hot. The preclear feels hot. He's re-experiencing a physical condition contained in the engram. This is called a somatic. I understand. Please continue. Uh, that's it. Okay. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Well, I'm sick, and I'm huddled underneath the covers. Each time the preclear goes through the incident, its negative influence over him is reduced. She's saying... You are so hot. You're so hot. You look terrible. You look terrible. And she's saying... I need to have some soup. Have some soup, but the soup it just makes me feel sicker. Just a little. <laughs> you know, to this day, I hate the smell of soup. I understand. Please continue. I tell her I'm not hungry, but she keeps saying just a bit. Um, I don't know, I'm just lying there sick in bed. Okay. What's the tactile on this? Tactile refers to the sense of touch. Feel, um, the auditor is asking him to describe anything his body is touching. I feel my covers. Okay. What do you see? Oh, I see my toys in my fish tank. Good. What do you hear? The gurgling sound of the fish tank. Okay. Please continue. Uh, that's it. I'm, I'm still kind of hot. I understand. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Okay, I'm in my room. Run the preclear through the incident as many times as it takes to bring him up the tone scale to being cheerful about it. When the preclear is bright and cheerful about running that incident, the engram has erased. <laughs> That's why. However, sometimes the preclear doesn't become cheerful about it despite many recountings. I'm still kind of hot. I understand. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Therefore, if he isn't uncovering any new data about an incident, even though he's recounted it many times, and he's not becoming more cheerful about it, then there's an earlier moment of a similar nature that must be found. As you've seen, engrams are in chains. In other words, there's a series of incidents of similar types. At the very bottom of every chain is the basic or first engram on the chain. This basic incident holds the later ones more or less in place, preventing them from being reduced. So the basic engram of the chain is always your goal. I don't think I'm getting anything new here. All right. Therefore, if an incident doesn't reduce after many recountings, ask, is there an earlier incident like this? 
Is there an earlier incident like this? If the preclear says yes, I get the sense that there is yes. Have him go to the earlier incident and recount it, starting at step five. Tell the preclear to begin at the beginning and recount it. Begin at the beginning and recount it. Uh, well, I hear a voice. I'm not sure what he's saying. Something about looking terrible. I think. I'm not sure. Okay. What do you see? I don't see anything. Just blackness. Okay. What do you hear? Besides the voice, um, I hear coughing, gagging, something like that. I'm getting a headache. I understand. Please continue. Uh, that's it, really. That's all. Okay. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. I hear voices, a man's voice. What does he say? Uh, well, he says, um, he's saying, you look terrible, are you okay? And a woman says, no, I'm sick, I'm so sick. And I hear coughing, gagging. Um, I get the sense that she's crying. <sighs> Look, I can't do this. It's all right. What's the somatic? Uh, I feel pressure, like I'm being compressed. Uh, I feel pressure on my head right here. Um, but I don't see anything. <sighs> Look, I can't do this. You're doing fine. Please continue. When an engram is contacted with auditing, the preclear will dramatize its contents, just like he did when it was restimulated in life. He'll speak and act in a modified version of the engram. So just remember, those are engrams talking, not your preclear. Uh, I can't do this. I can't do this. I... It's important to know that the preclear himself never resists auditing. The only thing which resists are the engrams. So if the preclear swears or moans or weeps or pleads, I can't, I can't do this. Don't quit. Do this. Don't get angry. Do Just follow the auditor's code and kindly persist. What do you hear? I hear coughing, gagging. The woman... Wait, that's my mother. That's her voice. Oh, this must be a prenatal. Okay. What does she say? I can't do this. Wait, that's what she's saying. She's saying I can't do this. Oh, I bet this is morning sickness. She's crying. She's saying, I hate this. I hate being pregnant. Look, how much longer will this go on? My head hurts. I've had enough for today. Let's end the session now, okay? I understand, but there may be more in it. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. An auditor is courageous. Never end the session, leaving engrams half reduced just because he asks you to. If the preclear is in the middle of an engram, the only way out of it is to go through it as many times as it takes. She says, how much longer? How much longer will this go on? And... As long as new data is still coming out, the incident is reducing and should continue to be run. I hear my dad say, you're the one who wanted to have kids. That's all, except my headache is starting to go away. Good. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Okay. I hear my dad saying, you look terrible. Are you okay? Continue to run the incident again and again until the preclear is cheerful about it. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. When the incident no longer affects him, either painfully or emotionally, and there's no more data to run, the engram has erased. The preclear will have come up the tone scale and be bright and cheerful and perhaps laughing about it. That's why whenever... The engram is technically not erased. It's just been refiled in his analytical mind as a memory. 
and will no longer have any influence over him. Okay. Yeah. This is a good time to end off. To end the session, go on to step seven. The auditor now has to tell the preclear to come to present time. Come to present time. Okay. You want to be sure the preclear is in present time, so in step eight, you ask him. Are you in present time? Yes. Okay. The auditor now has to give the preclear the word canceled, so that nothing in this session will act as a command or suggestion to him at a later time. This is step nine. Canceled. The auditor should now restore the preclear's awareness of his surroundings. This is step 10 and is the final step of the procedure. When I count from five to one and snap my fingers, you will feel alert. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's awesome, thank you. You're welcome. There you have it. That was a Dianetics auditing demonstration shown with all its parts. In future sessions, other incidents are taken up and handled one by one. Everything which I've said to you while you're in a therapy session will be canceled and will have no force with you. Any suggestion I have made to you will be without force when I say the word canceled. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. Let's go to the earliest moment of pain or discomfort. Okay. Uh, there was a time that I was climbing a tree. Good. Begin at the beginning and recount it. Uh, about seven years old. Just find the earliest engrams available and erase them. I slip and fall out of the tree. Keep in mind, your primary goal is to locate and erase basic basic, the earliest moment of pain and unconsciousness. So in every session, you try to reach it until you're certain you have found it. Once it's been erased, the remaining engrams will be much easier to locate and erase. Trying to, get a foothold on my right foot. to get the best results in auditing, you should always be well fed before starting a Dianetics session. An auditor should never audit someone who is hungry or improperly fed. A good protein diet will help your auditing go smoother, as will vitamin B1. Auditing apparently reduces the amount of B1 in your system, so it's strongly recommended that you take vitamin B1 when you're getting auditing. You should also get plenty of rest. An auditor shouldn't audit someone who's tired or audit them late at night when they would normally be sleeping. Drugs and alcohol interfere with your ability to locate or run engrams, making auditing difficult. So don't drink alcohol for 24 hours before auditing. Waiting a week after taking drugs or aspirin will improve your ability to handle engrams in session. Be sure to keep your auditing appointments and schedule your sessions regularly. Auditing every day is not necessary, but auditing every two or three days is desirable and produces the best results. As you progress through auditing, you'll find yourself rising up the tone scale, steadily improving. In fact, the change will be noticeable from week to week. When all the pain and sorrow have been erased, your reactive mind will be cleared. People achieve this state every day, and so can you.